Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pivot condition in a workbook. In our last two videos, we have learned what are data sets, what are workbooks. And now in this video, we are going to see multiple conditions. For example, take an example that select customer from sales orders where exist select count distinct item customer from sales where date between these two dates given now in this condition what we need the customer list the count of distinct items sold between given two dates also the sum of the amount of all the items purchased now for this what we are going to do we are going to take first the data between these two dates after that, what we are going to do, let me show you. I have already created a data set, right? In this data set, now what is data set and how to use it? I recommend you to watch my previous video. My previous videos are based on data set, workbook, the in condition, the exist condition, right? Now see here, what I have taken, first of all, I have taken a database. See here, let me show you one more time. When I click on analytics, so from here you have to create a new database. Here, right? And sales, sales ordered, right? So in this way, we create a new data set. Now, here I have already created a data set for sales ordered. Now here I have taken the date and date I have taken between 1st of July 2021 to 26th of April 2022 till today, right? Now the data is here. Now you can see here, just a second, there are 49 records here, right? Now here there are 49 records, but we need this uh, data in, uh, in just like a pivot format. For this, what we, we are going to do, we are going to create a new workbook. Now here, apply to workbook. Here, a workbook is created. Here, it will ask you that whether you want to create a table, pivot, or a chart. I, I have selected a pivot table, right? Now, in this pivot table, you will be asked item, uh, sorry, rows, columns, and measures. Item, customer. Now, let me delete all. Right, right now, pivot is empty. Now what I'm going to do here, I have taken for rows item. For column, we have to take customers. Now these are the customers and these are the columns. Now these are distinct items. None of these are repeated. Here also customers are unique. After that, on, the, on what basis you are going to measure? For example, if I take here like quantity, in this way, these are the quantities sold. Now suppose if I take one more, example like if i want to take amount right see here now just see our ppt once again we need customer list count of distinct items sold between given two dates right now see here and if I add quantity also, just a second, quantity net and amount net sum, C. This TBI group purchased Samsung 60-1080P LED, quantity is five, and the sum is this much. So in this way, if we are having multiple queries nested query so in that way 
we can choose it like this also so we have to create a pivot table because there is no direct uh, formula like for example if i show you open data set now here there are only few conditions either and or or suppose if i add here item like apple ipad apply now either and or or so it is better to take a pivot table option let me delete this and then i will save it i will go to apply to workbook so in this way pivot table we have created now what we have got the unique items list the quantity purchased the amount of the sum total net amount here you can see the company and all are distinct none of them are repeated so in this way in sql query there is a facility of unique or distinct but here we have to extract the data in this way now this data set can be exported here we can see just a second open data set export now if you export this data let me export this data into csv format now here you can get the complete data now on this table you can uh, apply the pivot for pivot formula so guys this is how we apply pivot function in netsuite analytics so this is one more another example in suit analytics and guys please practice this suit analytics pivot and uh, if you have any doubt you can note down in the comment section i will try to satisfy your query and keep watching my video and subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you